warning on Tesla stock. Stay tuned for more. Smash that like button. Boom, bam, back with another video we're going to be talking about tesla stock ticker symbol tsla the ticker symbol will be right here tesla stock going down okay i actually told the team this beginning of the week we are expecting lower prices for tesla okay i did sell all of something on tesla stock i'll let you guys know all new levels where i'm looking at a level that tesla would need to pass on the upside to turn back bullish but for right now we are bearish on Tesla. We're expecting low prices. I'm expecting way lower prices than it is right now. So just be mindful of that. We're going to go over a little news, how Tesla is pushing some uh, um, makers out of making vehicles, what their record breaking is. Also what Elon Musk said about them as well. So smash the like button, subscribe if you're new. Make sure you follow me on Instagram, will.knowledge. Please make sure it's the right one. It's verified now. So make sure it's the right one, spelled correctly and everything. There are scam accounts going around. Also, remember the team opens back up August 14th. Make sure you save that date. It would only be open for five days. Now, I did have an old target on the upside of 320, okay? As you guys know, I did play a swing on Tesla shares, which was looking very weak as we stalled out right here. We came up to the resistance at 273, actually hit it perfect there. That was the first sign of down movement. So we sold that, right? I only lost like four or 5% of the Tesla shares. I will play it again once Tesla returns, but... I sold all of my Tesla swing shares, okay? Not my long-term, my swing shares. I still have my long-term. I'm never selling my long-term ever. I think Tesla will be well over a thousand in the near come future. But I did sell all my long, uh, my swing shares. Now I'm looking to play all downside, right? We called some downside plays this morning that the team got. But before we go over all the new levels, let's go over some little news first. So Tesla did make a record, okay? They had some lot of growth. They set a record for deliveries in the first half of the year with about 889,000 EVs delivered through June 30th. The company had already su surprised the industry in the first quarter of 2023 as its Model Y sports utility vehicle became the world's best-selling car with about 267,000 vehicles sold in the first three months of the year ahead of Toyota, which sold about 256, okay? And then 214 of the RAV4 vehicles worldwide. So they're actually beating Toyota. Next, Rivian was also the best-selling pickup truck. And now Tesla does not do pickup trucks. So Ford and Rivian are kind of taking over that market share. But once Tesla does the Cybertruck, they're going to get some of that market share back. And there's probably going to go back to Tesla because Tesla's the number one EV. I'd rather get a Cybertruck than the other ones, even though I like Ford too. And the Rivians kind of look good too, but probably would just get a Tesla, right? So I think that's a bigger share that hasn't even come yet and then see and then elon musk said most likely at the end of september now he also said they're trying to figure out the right timing about bringing into india he's confident that tesla will be in india and will do so as humanly possible that's what he said right so that's a new market share they're trying to go into of um because india could become one of the world's leaders in the electric four-wheeler market right so they're trying to get it all markets pretty much. That's what he said. Now let's go over the level. So I am expecting downward price movements. The only way I would expect up price movements again is if we break 265. We got to break 265 on the upside. That is when I'll be expecting higher prices. But for right now, all I'm expecting is downside. I believe we made a high on Tesla already. So that's it. 265 is the upside level. We also had a support that broke today. Broke down here, came up, just kind of stalled, and then had that downward movement to the downward side. We had some targets on the downward side. But I think Tesla is going all the way down here. Remember, I told you guys a while ago what I was expecting on Tesla as it did have this big movement. I told you I want to start seeing that channel to the downside. That is when I was going to start buying more Tesla for my long term, right? I'm looking to hold Tesla for years to come. This support level has been broken. We're going to move our new support level about 245 now. That's the new support level you want to be watching out for. Expecting all downside. So I'm looking for more only mainly put options on Tesla. I'm looking to build a long term as we start falling. But I think Tesla's going to around 235 before the next buying pressure. But remember, Tesla runs for about 25, I mean 21 days or so. And then Tesla builds this type of channel like this. Right? That's when I'm looking to buy again, which we might be seeing here. So very, very crucial. You need to know that on Tesla. We might be starting to build that downward channel as we have here. Then once we find that bottom support like we did here and we start breaking that structure to start going back higher, that's when I'll go heavy on call options and more heavy on swears like swings and so forth. So make sure you stay tuned for that. I'll probably update you guys on Tesla. If you want to update, all you got to do is get the video over 100 likes as fast as possible. So it's all up to y'all. Thank you for watching. Have some more videos today. 
that's what I'm expecting on Tesla. This is where I'm looking to buy Tesla. This is also where I'm looking to get some call options because I think we'll have, I think Tesla will drop right and we'll get some type of reversal here that I'll play on the upside as well. So it's a lot of stuff, but I did sell all my swing shares, still holding my long term, not selling those anytime soon, ever, probably. Thank you guys for watching. Always remember, no recommendation to buy or sell anything, just for education purposes only. So do not trade anything you see or hear in the video. Catch you guys in the next one.